I'm David. And I'm Eric. And three years ago, we came to you, to Kickstarter, and told you about our dream to make a low-cost underwater robot. We wanted to make underwater exploration accessible to everybody. A lot has happened in the past three years. We've shipped thousands of these robots to 50 countries, every continent. And most importantly, we've built this community of people who are obsessed with pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So for the last three years, we've been working on how to make underwater exploration tools the right way. And what we've come up with is something we're extremely excited to announce. This is the Trident. At OpenROV, we believe that exploration is not just about gathering data, but also about experiencing new worlds in a new way. We've designed Trident to be extremely fun to fly. Most ROVs, they move up and down slowly. They go left and right, forward and reverse. Trident is nothing like that. It flies like an airplane. It speeds along. You can bank. You can dive. It's fun to fly. It goes fast when you want it to, but it can slow down and be precise when you have something you want to inspect. Getting video from underwater has always been a challenge because radio waves don't travel through water. So we've developed a very lightweight, neutrally buoyant tether, which communicates the video feed from the ROV up to the surface. That attaches to a wireless buoy, which allows you to control the ROV from any Wi-Fi connected device, like a tablet, a laptop, or even a VR device like an Oculus Rift or a Google Cardboard. We wanted an ROV that could go to places that no ROV had been before. So we designed it to be ultra portable, whether you're hiking to high alpine lakes or you're bringing this as carry-on luggage. It goes wherever you go. Most ROVs are designed to look in specific places where you already know where the target is, but we've realized that a lot of people want to explore with an ROV. We've designed Trident to be extremely hydrodynamic and excellent at going in long straight lines. This allows you to do lawnmower patterns, being able to broadly explore a place that you've never seen before and find out what's there. We've seen community members take this model and create 3D visualizations of the seafloor. Using technologies like photogrammetry and structure from motion, we hope that we can help create maps of the underwater world that will allow us to see it in a completely new light. I joined this project when it was the initial Kickstarter, and I did it because it was going to be a chance to take this hardware, these robots, and I was going to be able to use my software skills to actually program them and have them do stuff underwater. I've been using that to build a platform now that lets other software geeks like myself contribute and help programmers to find ways to control robots. We've made a plug-in architecture that allows you to add your own components, add new sensors, new technology to an ROV after it's already been developed and out in the field. The OpenROV software, it's bigger than any single ROV. It's opening the door to services and technologies that we're just now scratching the surface on. From mapping, to autonomous computer control, to imaging reefs and, and underwater shipwrecks in 3D. We're gonna be able to send this data and utilize cloud computing, mesh networking, and all kinds of future technologies to make it available to everybody. So whether you're a fisherman, a researcher, a recreational boater, or just someone who's curious about what's below the surface, this is the tool for you. So here we are. We've spent the last four years developing underwater robots, and we've never been more excited about the project we have now. To get to the next level, to bring Trident to life, we need your help. So check out the reward levels, let us know what you think, and together, let's build the future of underwater exploration. Thank you. Originally when we made the first prototype, we actually really had no idea what it could do. The goal was to make a pen that had no glue, compression fittings, or even threads. The first goal obviously being pen and its function mainly and also its aesthetics. A pen made completely out of magnets. It was only after playing around for a while that uh, we realized it could do all these really interesting things.
every day we're finding new things that it can do and ways it can be used. And we're really excited to see what other people are gonna create with this very unique yet simple product. We're really excited about this product, and I hope you are too. If this project interested you, please help fund the first production run of Polar. Once the funding goal has been reached, production will start right away. Our target is to have product shipping for the end of November, ready at your house in good time for the holiday season. Thanks for checking out our project. We really appreciate your support. <laughs> hey! Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it worked. <laughs>
I have fire and creativity in my soul and don't want to stop here. There are so many possibilities, so much potential. Imagine, together with your help, we could bring motion lights to festivals. You may have the party of your life underneath a gigantic moving jellyfish, knowing that you made it possible by supporting a Kickstarter campaign a few years ago. I also plan to offer nano versions. You could have a controllable swarm of glowing jellyfishes on your desk that show different moving and lightning patterns. I also want to create more minimalistic and modern looking versions and work with luminescent colors. Again, so many possibilities, so much potential. With over 1000 species of jellyfish out there, the possibilities for individual and stunning designs are endless. With your help, we can bring a little bit mysterious and beautiful ocean to your home. Thank you. <laughs>